uh, Venus in the spring sky. But tonight I'm shooting M81 and M82. And I thought I'd just go through how to polar align with the QHY CCD Pole Master. This is currently attached to my Celestron CGX mount. So uh, I'll just wait till it gets a bit darker and we will uh, crack on with the software. Okay, the first thing we need to do is press connect on the camera and then ensure we can see Polaris in the field of view, which we can, it's roughly in the centre there. Once we're happy with that, we'll press finished and then we need to double click Polaris. These five circles appear and we rotate, rotate these around using the arrow keys until the stars that match the pattern are in each of the circles. They won't be exactly in the middle of the circles, don't worry about that, as long as each of the five stars are within those five circles. Once we're happy we'll press success and then we'll just press no to this option that appears and then we need to choose another star that was in our five and double click it. Now we need to rotate the right ascension axis on the mount about 30 degrees. I'm just going to press east on the hand controller. And again, um, don't be too obsessive about it being exactly 30 degrees. You just get an idea for how far the mount shifted just by visually looking at it. Then we'll press finished. Then we need to choose the same star again. Make sure it is the same star. And then we'll rotate the mount again another 30 degrees just by pressing east on the handset. And then we'll press finish. And then we click the same star for the third time. And a green circle will appear. Now what you're watching for at this point is that star to go back round on the circles path. Unfortunately due to the way I put the mount back into the home position uh, that doesn't happen on this video, but it doesn't affect the polar alignment because at this point it's just checking that your rotation is correct. So ignore what you see on screen right now, that's uh, my mistake, but it didn't affect my polar alignment. You would see the star that you've chosen going back around on the axis, uh, the, the green lines axis. and then we'll press correct. Now we double click Polaris again and then we rotate the, the circles again to make sure that the five stars are uh, in those circles. And now we need to move Polaris which is here into the rotating circle. At this point you're doing the adjustments using the altitude and the azimuth bolts. And as a quick little tip, I'm going to use the magnifier built into Windows 10 to magnify the part of the screen as I have to stand up and move away from the screen to do the alt and the azimuth adjustments. So I'm going to start with the azimuth adjustments first, move the star across to the left. And when it's roughly above the rotating circle, I'll then bring it down. So that looks fairly good and then I'm moving the altitude bolt now to bring this Polaris down into the rotating circle and try and get it as close to the cross as possible in the middle. Um, don't be too obsessive about it because we're going to do a fine tune of this later on. But it's actually in the next step. Okay, fairly happy with that, so I'll close the magnifier down and we'll press finished and then we need to double click Polaris which is now in the rotating circle and then we need to move the circles again. Now obviously you can see they're off screen at this point um, but as long as I can see two I know that they're the right ones. And then I'll press success. Now we actually do the fine adjustment. So there's a start monitor button over here on the left. We start that and then a green cross and a red cross appear. And the idea here is 
we need to get them on top of each other. The green one is the uh, the pole and the red one is the axis of your mount. And again using the alt and the azimuth bolts we just make some very very fine adjustments. And do take your time because the more precise you get this the better your pictures and the longer the exposure times you're going to get. So I'm just making some very very minor corrections and just as a tip sometimes I found that especially with the azimuth bolts if you go a little bit past because when you then tighten it up it brings it back in and ever so slightly so I'm fairly happy with that and then we just press finished and we're done that's polar aligned using the pole master so uh, thanks for watching please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time bye bye